ice pie with money for Y, something again with Y. Yorkshire. Oh, no, you can't see Yorkshire. Yellow. I don't see anything yellow. Hey, Pen, these moors have been an inspiration for a lot of great British artists. Maybe that'll be good for you too. Oh, look, look, kids. There's Heathcliff chasing Catherine across the moor. I don't see anybody. It's a load of empty. Mom's down with it. Rock stars in R.O.P. will be lining up around the block to get into one of Brad Mason's parties. What block? All I see is green stuff. Come on, it's only for six months. Six months? I think it's four months. Well, it depends what I find. If there's woodworm and dry rot, it could take longer than that. <sighs> Come on, we're going to enjoy ourselves, aren't we? This is an adventure. An adventure that pays well. I'll drink to that. Perfect. What was it before? A games room. But originally, when it was first built, it was an artist studio. Radcliffe had an artist? No, Radcliffe was an artist. A landscape painter. You shouldn't wonder who was landscape lying about. It's not too late for you to join the fun. Don't get crazy up here. Since when has that ever been bad for an artist? True. Perhaps you'll make something worth selling. What? And ruin my marriage. Is she all right? She has a broken jaw and a few cracked ribs. The car's a right off. Jesus. It could be serious. They want to do a brain scan. I'm sorry, Meg. I can't leave her. Maybe you could get Tony to help you instead. But the, Tony's on a build in Scotland. Look, they're calling me back. What about that Italian guy? Can you hear me? Frank.
straight, Blas. Couldn't get out of here fast enough. Everything all right? Celia's had a car accident. Oh, my God. Is she all right? Yeah, but France is going to stay and look after her. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'll find a local guy. Can you help me with something? Yeah. You must be nailed shirt. What's in there? I have no idea. But the skyline, it's worth a lot. That's it. Oh! Oh, are you all right? Yeah, just a neck. Okay. Come on. Come on. That's okay. One, two, three. What do you think this place was? I have no idea. It's not on any of the plans. I wonder why. What are you going to do with it? Turn it into a playroom for one of Brad's kids? I have a feeling this house is full of surprises. What the hell is that? Wow. Right. I've got builders to find. I'm looking for Mr. Donnelly. Sure, Donnelly? I'm not available. I've come about a long-term job. At Radcliffe? Yeah. Wow, how'd you know that? You're the American banker's designer from London. Why do I get the feeling you don't approve? I don't mind who lives in that house. Just don't want to be the one who turns it into Disneyland. That's not what we're doing. Is it true he hasn't even set foot in the place? That he brought it on the internet? Well, he doesn't want to see it until it's fully restored to the original state. Many of those skills are long gone, Miss... Hamilton, Meg. And what do you know about Yorkshire Stone? I know that if you try and fix a bronze dial plate by F. Baker and sends to a Mark Blanchard pedestal using hydrated cement paste, it'll probably corrode in the next three years. You need to use the old stuff. Lime mortar and a French bombing agent. Do you want it to last? Mr. Hamilton. outside the back of the house. It won't be horrible once you've cleaned it up. No, Mum. I've got books through to school. Screen. No, don't touch me. Okay. Sorry. What do you want to look at? Picture. Okay. Hmm? Wait, no, I don't see anything. No, how can it be there and not here? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Printer screwed. It's a rubbish printer. Yeah, well, maybe it's a different picture. Just look. No, look. It's the only one I took. See? Nothing there. Come on, let's go get some lunch. Starving. 
and you should be doing the French with Come on. Come on. It's nothing. Do your heed. I knocked. Thinking you couldn't hear me. Yeah, thanks for coming. You did want me here before. Yes, yes, no, God, sorry, I was miles away. What have you found? Well, I, I don't know, I, I think the bricked up doorway. That was in the root cellar way back when the house was first built. People closed them up when fridges came in. Okay, well, uh, give me a couple of seconds, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna patch this up. I can only do it three days a week, I'm allowed even less, if that still suits. Well, I'll take what I can get. I think we should start at the top of the house and work our way down. Uh, as I said, my clients want to see the place returned to original state. If we might get away from it. What was that? It's just the boiler. What, are you sure that's what it was? It's not going to do that all night, is it? Can you go check that? Your mom wears the plumber's pants in this house, sweetie. Oh. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to shut down the bloody boiler. I'm not finished with you yet.
That's the great. Got a shot? Yeah, piping hot and great pressure. I gotta hand it to you, Meg. I can't turn the boiler off. Yeah, very funny. I thought I saw a woman wandering around the garden. Probably just some nosy neighbor curious about the newly arrived aliens from London. I think I'm just tired. first met. I don't believe you. Why? I think you wish I'd never cut my hair.
Penny? Penny, the door's locked. The key must have dropped out somewhere. Can you see it on the floor? Penny? Have you got your inhaler? Today. There's a town on the coast called Whitby, not far from here. That's where Dracula landed. They got me a coffee because the sunlight, but it's scared shut up, Papa. I'm telling you, it's essentially creepy universe. So what do you work on, Mike? I'm on the brink of something. Where's the tea? We don't have tea. Don't tell me you forgot the tea. We didn't forget the tea because we don't drink it. There's coffee on the stove. Penny saw a ghost. What? She had a nightmare. She got wound up and had an asthma attack. It was a real fucking ghost. Penny! Oh. What kind of language is that, young lady? It's the language of a girl who's been neglected by her father, which is why you're taking them to the bloody seaside today. Today's no good. It's very important that we position it exactly in line with the study window. Ten yards from the house. It's this distance here. houses move over time. Things stick. Okay, ooh, you know Emily? Well, her uncle bought her space to much to what she was wanted, and he got this guy who came sorted out in like one visit. No, have you been twitting about this? No, Mum, we've got to do something. It's not like, it's not like a priest or anything. He just says he was born with a gift. Oh my God, you've contacted him. No, no, not yet. Emily just sent me the link to his homepage so we could check him out. Let me see that. You've got to be kidding. Well, he's super discreet. Promise, promise me that you are not going to talk about this online anymore. Oh my God, Mum, this is my work you're dissing, Penny. I'm going to get a reputation.
sell some lunch. I'm going to go check on the guys. We have a little problem. Claire. Wow. My lad's not normally superstitious. And neither am I. But we thought, with the history of the place and all, you'd want to keep it covered. I thought you understood the history of the place. You know exactly what we're here to restore. But I'm afraid you're on your own. Such a big deal. I've got a reputation, Mrs. Hamilton. Small, but enough to get me work. If word spreads that Sean Donnelly has invited the wrong kind of publicity, I'll lose my business. What kind of publicity? There have always been rumours that Rackwood built the place in some sort of temple. But it was so long ago that thankfully that's all they are. Rumours? No, I'm not so sure. But it's just a work of art. No, it's a work of the devil. Now that is ridiculous. Is it? He killed his wife in some sort of ritual. And to get her revenge, she haunted him day and night until he threw himself from my window. If I were you, I'd. This way to American banker to tear it all down and start from scratch. You've been in there all day. I was in the beach. Polly, you missed the phone engineer. I'm sorry, babe. Can you stop walking away from me? I'm trying to talk to you, Alex. This is important. Listen, Donnelly's just quit. We've got to find someone else. If we're going to make the deadline, I really need you to pitch in. Would you sit for me? This is serious. Just a couple of sessions. I can't, I can't do this on my own. I'm right in the thick of it, Meg. Look, this is our paycheck, okay? It's our only paycheck. Since your last show, we don't have any money. I understand all that. But what I'm doing will change our lives forever. Alec, I'm, I'm really glad for you. I'm so happy that you found something new. But right now, I just need your help. Okay. Okay. I'll set aside some time in the afternoons.
are you doing in here? Well, I, I, I was just... I was answering the phone. I guess the, the engineer must have connected it after all. The phone? You didn't hear the phone? Listen, I, I don't think we should leave this light. Did you put this light on? No, I thought you did. <sighs> okay, let's get out of here. gives me the creeps. I don't like it. Yeah. No. I know. I don't like it here, please. 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 That's been converted to digital. It's never gonna work. It was working last night, but then again this morning. Well, I can't see how that's possible. It's not connected. In fact, I can't even see a telephone socket down there. Madam. Scheduled, but we're also finding some amazing stuff. Great. Yeah, it looks like many original features are still intact, Excellent. which is why I imagine you wanted to buy it in the first place. I didn't buy it. I inherited it. You inherited it? Yeah, I thought you knew that. No, I... Yeah, the will showed up after 150 years buried in some trust somewhere. The original owner has a sister. It turns out to be my great-great aunt. And you just discovered that? Yep, I guess Victorian paper, because it's not all, it's crap I see. Yeah, the only condition is that the house is maintained in its original state. Listen, I gotta, I gotta jump on another call. When you're done, all I need to do is get the executives to check over your work, then they'll officially sign over the deed. What will you do then? Sell it. Oh, and keep up the good work. Hello? Hello? I believe you found some artwork of historical interest in the house. I'm, I'm sorry, you are? Charles Kendrick Walker. I've always wondered about this place. You've been talking to Donnelly? I'd like to take a peek. I'm sorry, we're not open to the public. Well, you misunderstand, Mrs. Hamilton. I'm somewhat of an expert on the era. I may be able to help. I don't need any help, thank you. Well, word spreads pretty fast around Malton. Good as well as bad. If we can dispel superstition, 
encourage people to regard Radcliffe with fascination rather than fear, we may be able to restore it to the status it deserves. I'm a historian, Mrs. Hamilton. Believe me, you need my expertise. Good heavens. The glass is 1860, but I think the design is a lot earlier. And it goes back to the ancients. You know what it is? A map of the human soul. Rosicrucians call it the Emerald Tablet of Hermes. Radcliffe was an alchemist. Oh, yes. A very good one. What happened here? I guess somebody didn't like the mermaid's face. The glass was completely shattered. It must have been hit by something very hard. Will you be able to restore it? If I can find out what she looked like, yes. There's a painting at the Victorian Museum of Art in Leeds. Radcliffe was a landscape artist, but he left one portrait of his wife, Isabella. This amazing Illumati features in the background. Great. I'll check it out. There would have been an effigy of the emetic ray hanging over the tablet. The ultimate. Will you be restoring the house to its original state? Yeah, that's the plan. I'm really sure what to do with this one, eh? No. I thought you said you were going to restore it. <laughs> My employer doesn't really have a use for a Rosicrucian altar. And then there are the rumors around town. Well, these are simple folk, Mrs. Hamilton. The miracle of metempsychosis is not something they would ever understand. But Radcliffe didn't kill his wife. It was an accident. He loved her more than life itself. Why are you coming with my husband? I'm afraid I'm a little pushed for time. But you will put in a good word for us in town. I'll do my best. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi. Is there anything to eat? Uh, yeah, there are cold cuts in the fridge and there's that bread you like. Can you grab something? No, oh, I can. How was your back right? Internet's working. Oh my god, that's her. Oh god, you scared. The woman in my room, that's her. What? Hey, it's just some stupid picture, Penny. Why were you looking at that? What are you doing? It just came up randomly when I was researching. Oh, come on, that is definitely her. Yes, and Penny, calm down. Look, it, it's very common. It's like a deja vu when you're tired and stressed and you feel like you've seen someone in a dream and you haven't. Well, look, bullshit, Mum. It wasn't a dream. That is her. I promise you. That is the woman with the cuts up her arm. I thought you told me that she was looking out of the window. Yeah. Well, then how can you be sure? Because I'm sure she looked at me. I saw her face. Please, we've got to leave. No. Please. Well, go on. Oh, but can we just go? I'll, I'll be up in a minute, okay? Oh, well, then not now. Just go upstairs now, please! <sighs> Listen, honey, I know you're upset. If you're really not happy here, I can try and organise for you to go and live with Grandpa in London. Would you like to do that? Just for a couple of months. Is that what you want? Mm -hmm. Please, please, we have to all leave right now. I can't leave. I have to finish this job. We need the money. Try and understand, okay? I fix the hot water. I'm going to run you a nice hot bath, and we we'll all snuggle down in the bed together and watch a movie on the iPad. Yeah, something you know, like a comedy. Was it the Reverend Green in the cellar with the lead pipe? Who's that? I'm Jolene at your service. This is the old spooky pile. Oh, God, you're the ghost whisperer, aren't you? This is Bessie. Look, I'm terribly sorry. There's been a misunderstanding. I know you've Mom. come along. Oh, come on, you still so around, okay? So you're a plumber as well, are you? No, man's gonna make a living. I'd have thought exorcism was... I don't charge for cleansing work. There's rules about that sort of thing. But we'll take a cup of coffee. Don't tell me milk and two sugars. No, you're psychic, Mrs. H. It kind of looked like a smudge, but then I guess it was definitely a bigger 
the other night, I was going to bed here. And I was like, I saw this woman. Here we are. Now, I should just explain. My husband and I don't believe in ghosts or spirits, Mr. Neal. Uh, no one does, Mrs. H. So they experience one first hand. What are you, are you feeling on right now? Well, the house has a very strong aura. No doubt about it. I'll take a look around. As long as you don't break anything. Cooking, have we? <laughs> yep, that's some psychotic Pharisee. What? It's a nasty red potion. It takes a while to kick in. Word of caution: be very careful what you drink. Understood? Upstairs, both of you. I've heard enough. No, no, I said upstairs. He said we can watch. Mum, please, please, let me do the cleansing. He's not helping. Penny, he's just speaking. That's all. Sorry, Mr. Lean. I can't have you scaring the kids like that. Is something wrong? Still here. Who? Oh. It's not safe. You want to take over, take control. Mr. Lean, you're not making any sense. He was a painter. He died on that fountain from the fall. Oh, my God. Radcliffe. Penny, go upstairs, please. No, not Radcliffe. His name was different. Walker, I think. I'll leave you this in case of anything untoward. Basically, it's holy water with a few add-ons. It's pucker. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Lee. There's something else. The feeling I picked up. I've never quite... You, you have to be careful. What do you mean, careful? He, he loved her. That's, a, that's the problem, do you see? He loved her too much. And now, he wants to take control. Control of what? The house? No, no, no. no not the house of you. Goodbye, Mr. Lee. Penny back in the house, please. Okay, Radcliffe was a painter. All that information is available on the internet for anyone who wants to see. Okay, these guys always do their research. Go and hang with your brother. I'll be up in a minute. Okay. Oh, wait, where are you going? I'm, I'm just going to check on Dad. Oh, well, I'll come with you. No. Penny, your dad and I need a bit of private time, okay? Here, take this. In case of anything untoward. Let him psychotic Pharisee. Jesus. Charles Kendrick Walker. You know, I've always wondered about this place. It 
1945. wait till she was a little bit further along, but I suppose now's as good a time as any. I could have done with a couple more sessions with you, but in the end I had to settle for sketching you while you slept. Me? I like this isn't me. Well, I'll wait till she's cast and finished. You'll see. You're quite difficult to nail down. Jesus. What have you done to yourself? I know it sounds crazy, but the blood makes the clay easier to work. The woman in Radcliffe's portrait is why they... Why, why are you sculpting Radcliffe's wife? What are you talking about? It's exactly the same face, the same position, everything. Meg, it's supposed to be you. Alec, he was a Rosicrucian. He killed his wife in, in some ritual in this house. This job has pushed you over the edge. I think you need to get back to therapy. Our daughter is having a breakdown because she believes she saw this woman in her bedroom. You said that was a nightmare. You said so yourself. I'm going back to London. No. I'm taking the kids and I'm going to run the job from there. No! I'm not going anywhere and neither are you. Don't you care about our daughter? Of course I do. But I also care about me for a change. This is the best work I've ever done. Probably ever. And I'm not about to give that up now. This isn't your work, Alec. What are you talking about? You don't draw like this. This is what you do. This is your stuff, and I love it. It's real. This is not yours. <laughs> Get out! Thursday tomorrow morning after we've had a good sleep and then have a family meeting. Um, I think I'm ready to go back to London and work the build from there. Really? Uh, it's going to cost a lot more money, but I think I can persuade Bradley to step up. Mum, um, I should leave now. Your father's not ready to leave yet. And, um, and I'm not leaving him here on his own. Papa? 
Where are you? Where are you? I can't... My keys are upstairs in my bag. No, no, Mum, please, please don't leave. Come with me, then. No, no. We cannot sit here all night. You need your inhaler. I'm, I'm going back upstairs. Lock the door!
How are you feeling? Where have you been, Alec? I went for a walk on the moor to clear my head. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You're wearing a coat. Are you leaving? I, I thought I'd take the kids to Grandpa's for a couple of days. I'll, I'll come right back. But we're getting so close. I, I just think we all need a break. Why, why don't we just talk about this? When I get back. You can't abandon me. There's so much to be done. Why are you behaving like this? Trying to possess you somehow. You've got to be strong. You've got to. You've got to fight. <laughs>
Look at that.
we have to hurry. Why did you do that? Are you right? Oh, my head. My back. What happened? Oh. Oh, you scared us. <laughs> 